Welcome back to Access to the Arts. I'm Eric Marsh. Appreciate the time that you're spending with us. And we have a chance to talk with Patrick Flick from the Richmond Shakespeare Festival, the uh, ar artistic director, or is it producing artistic it's director? It's producing artistic director. What, what's the difference between the two? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> it's a longer title. Uh, yeah, I think it just means that I have more work. <laughs> Doesn't it normally mean that? Yeah. Um, you all are going to be doing something I think that people are really going to enjoy. You've got a Christmas carol coming in. Can you talk about that? Yeah. For the first time ever, uh, Richmond Shakespeare Festival will be branching out beyond our normal summer fair and offering uh, a, a holiday show uh, this year in 2022. And it will be an adaptation of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol uh, by uh, the artistic director of the Orlando Shakespeare Festival in Orlando, uh, Florida, oh. Jim Helsinger. And it is an eight-person uh, version of, uh, of A Christmas Carol uh, told by actors in costume, obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're hoping to do it at the Reed Center in December, and it will run December 1st through the 18th of 2022. That's great. Mm -hmm. What was the inspiration behind deciding to kind of add uh, something in the winter from the from what you all have normally done, which is mostly summer? Right. Well, you know, that's that, uh, it's important, I think, to, to for the Richmond Shakespeare Festival to have a continuity of presence in Richmond uh, so that people, you know, don't forget about us from, from year <laughs> to year. And so I thought, well, what better uh, time of year and what better... Um, type of programming to do than to do a holiday show that will be really a family show and will be here to benefit the entire community in, in December. So about halfway through the year, we're going, hey, we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> Just that reminder. Yeah. I think it'll be fun to see and do. Yeah. Um, planning for 2023. Mm -hmm. Underway? You all have it locked down? Do you know what you're doing? Can you give us a sneak peek? I can. Uh, we have traditionally done two shows in the summer. Yeah. Uh, in 2023, we are hoping to expand to a three-show season. And the shows that are currently under consideration are, again, a full production of Twelfth Night. And if it's the production that I hope it will be, it will be set in 1930s glam Hollywood. And then, uh, and, and I, have, uh, I already have the musical score for the production uh, it was written by a very good friend of mine, Michael Andrew, in Orlando, Florida, uh, who's also a big band leader and composer. And then uh, we are also planning to do, uh, for the first time ever, a musical. Uh, it will, it's a six-person musical with a, with a band. Uh, it's called Desperate Measures, and it is a uh, old Western comedy adaptation of Shakespeare's original Measure for Measure. And the third production we're planning to do is, you guessed it, Measure for Measure, Shakespeare's original play that will, will join our season as a complement to, or, or and vice versa, to Desperate Measures, the musical based on Measure for Measure. These shows, um, you all are producing, so this is back to Richmond Shakespeare Festival producing, because I know the last couple of years under COVID, mm -hmm. you all have brought in Cincinnati and Kentucky Shakespeare Festival. We brought those in as touring groups, just and we presented them for free just to serve the community and remind the community that we're still here. But yes, this will be uh, produced by the Richmond Shakespeare Festival. We anticipate that these will be uh, fully professional uh, uh, productions with a mix of uh, union actors, equity actors, uh, non-union actors, local actors, uh, probably some younger actors from some of the nearby colleges as well. All right. Check it out. Check out their website, richmondshakes.org. Did I get that right? You got that right. If you need some information, they're also hanging out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? Facebook, Twitter, probably Instagram. I don't really <laughs> monitor that particular uh, uh, platform myself. They're out there. Check them out. Something for the Christmas season as well as next year. Patrick Flick, Artistic Director. Greatly appreciate the time. Thank you, Eric.